Here are three time-saving city tricks everyone should know. But one, sometimes you might be at a place where you're not able to speak to Siri. Did you know you can also type to Siri? So instead of speaking, you can just type your question. So this is how you set, it, set this up. Uh, let's go to the settings. Look for accessibility. And now go to Siri here. And I'll see on the top, type to Siri. Siri will listen for voice when input you press. And then if you turn this on, when you press the hold button, Siri will allow you to type your questions. Let's test this. I'm going to press the side button. And here you go. I can just type my question to Siri. How are you? Not bad at all. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Number two, sometimes when you use Siri, it closes or hides the app that you're already using. So let's say I'm checking out some scores on NBA.com. Let's bring up Siri. Hey Siri, how are you? So see how it hid the app that was behind it but you can change it. So let's go back to settings, accessibility, and then back to city settings. And then you're gonna turn this on, show apps behind city. Now let's go back, bring up my nba.com and let's talk to Siri. How are you? Excellent. See my app or web page, it was open behind city. Number three, if you don't like the audio responses from Siri, go back to the setting, accessibility, and then Siri. And then here is the section where you can control it. You can do silent responses, spoken responses, or do automatic.